This video predicts who will trade for Damian Lillard. The sweepstakes for Dame are rumored to have come down to three finalists, being the initial team Damian requested to be moved to in the Miami Heat, along with the Toronto Raptors and Chicago Bulls. Right quick, 83.4% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so if you're in that percentage, click that sub box down below. Also, splash thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you kindly for the support. First off, you may be wondering if Dame will even report to training camp if he's traded to a team other than Miami, so let's cover that to start. Over two months ago on July 1st at 11.56am, it was first reported by Chris Haynes of TNT that Lillard had requested a trade. Four days later, it was stated in a report made by ESPN that said trade request was specifically to the Miami Heat. Calming the storm, talks would however slow down due to Portland apparently being unimpressed by trade packages offered up by Miami. Rumors would then heat up regarding whether Lillard would even report to training camp should he be traded to a franchise other than the Miami Heat. Speaking on the rally, Shams of The Athletic would report that the only two training camp destinations in which the seven-time All-Star would show up to would be Portland or Miami, with the expectation that talks would resume between the two parties before training camp in October. However, while there have been contradicting reports over Dame's stance on reporting to a training camp if he hasn't been traded by that time or is traded somewhere else other than Miami, reputable NBA reporter Mark Medina stressed that Dame is the utmost professional and doesn't want the off-court distractions. Medina would go on to state, quote, I can't see any scenario where Damian Lillard does not report to training camp with any team because that's just not in his character, end quote. Before getting into the best deals each squad can make and ultimately predicting the team Dame will land with, let's get a bit of an idea of the player Portland is offering up here. It's no wonder discussions are ongoing after almost three months since his initial trade request, given we're talking about the best blazer to ever do it. Portland's franchise GOAT scored 40 plus points 15 times in 58 games played last season. That amount of 40 pieces led all NBA players, and he dropped one at an average of every 3.87 games. He averaged 32.2 points per game on 64.5% true shooting over the course of the 22-23 season, which was the highest scoring average in NBA history for a player 31 or older, and it was the fifth highest true shooting percentage of any 30-plus point per game campaign in NBA history as well. On top of that, this man also found a way to average 4.8 rebounds and 7.3 assists per game. He led the league in offensive estimated plus minus, and over a 25 game span ranging from January until March, averaged 38.1 points per game. That stretch saw Lillard post the most efficient 60 plus point game of all time, and a 71 piece a month later. Whoever gets Dame is receiving a bona fide superstar who's coming off the best season of his storied career. It's a career that's seen him hit multiple buzzer-beating playoff series game winners in 2014 against Houston and in 2019 against OKC. Damian Lamonte Ali Lillard Sr. has additionally made seven All-Star games, seven All-NBA teams, the NBA 75th anniversary team, and was named Teammate of the Year in 2021. Now for what you've been waiting for, possible Dame destinations in 2024, and a prediction of where he'll land. According to Jake Fisher of Yahoo Sports, quote, At this juncture, Toronto and Chicago have been the two possible destinations for Lillard most discussed by league figures. While a collection of NBA personnel expect Portland to engage Miami before finalizing something with another suitor, the Heat have not factored primarily in the Blazers' recent dialogue surrounding Lillard, league sources said, end quote. Let's start with the team Dame specifically requested a trade to in the Heat. The Blazers have already said they aren't interested in Tyler Hero, so in the potential deal showcased in this video, I have the Phoenix Suns facilitating a three-team trade where the Suns would get Yusuf Nurkic from the Blazers, DeAndre Ayton, Kyle Lowry, high upside scoring wing and soon-to-be rookie and product of UCLA, Jamie Jacquez Jr., in addition to three unprotected future first-round picks, would go to Portland, and Dame's wish to go to the reigning East champions would get granted. Whether or not that's enough for Portland is of course a big time question mark, but with Phoenix getting into the act, Ayton gives them a former number one overall pick who could benefit from a change of scenery. Lowry gives them a replacement at point guard, albeit not nearly as effective of one given his age, but Kyle defied father time decently during his time in South Beach and could mentor some of Portland's young talent. Jamie Jacquez Jr. was the 18th pick in 2023's draft, and as a 6'6", 220-pound shooting guard with shot-creating ability, 
could be intriguing enough for the Blazers to consider. The three first-round picks would give the rebuilding Blazers leverage, and the Heat would pair Jimmy Butler with another superstar. It would also be a good look for the Blazers organization to trade their franchise all-time great to the team that he wanted to be moved to. Moving on to a potential deal to Toronto, and the Raptors have made the fewest transactions of any team over the last three years. That said, they may have saved up their assets for the perfect time with Dame becoming available on the trade market. The most recent report from Mark Stein is that Toronto's truly convinced numerous teams across the league with their genuine interest to trade for Damian Lillard. While there's no guarantee Dame even reports the training camp if Toronto nets him, remember the last time the Six traded for a superstar in Kawhi Leonard. No one thought the claw would give Toronto the time of day. We saw what happened there, Masai convinced him to buy in, and the Raps went on to win the 2019 championship. With Siakam in a contract year, and the direction of the team not having been clear for a while, Toronto may as well swing for the fences. While depth is crucial, Toronto has a lot of it already, and could use a superstar to improve their top-heavy talent. In the potential Dame trade to Toronto, Phoenix would also be involved as a facilitator. In this case, they'd receive a wing with the two-way capabilities to carry his own team in 2023, all-defensive second-team player OG Ananobi, in addition to Yusuf Nurkic. Phoenix would give Portland DeAndre Ayton, Toronto would give Portland a man who I've stated to be a potential sixth man of the year in 2024, being Gary Trent Jr., and the North would make Pascal Siakam a part of another top NBA duo, pairing Spicy with Dame Time. Picks would also be involved in that deal, as the Blazers would also get multiple unprotected future first-rounders from Toronto. Finally, before firmly predicting where Dame will end up, the Chicago Bulls have also entered the Dame sweepstakes. Out of any trade, this one would probably improve Portland the most. Portland would receive six-time All-Star DeMar DeRozan, 2023 All-Defensive First Team player Alex Caruso, and 21-year-old 6'7 shooting guard out of Arizona in Dalen Terry. The Bulls would throw in a first and second round pick. Chicago would obviously be giving up a lot here, but given trade talks with Miami have gone on for so long and haven't panned out, Portland is evidently asking for a ton in return. To lead that into my prediction, Portland isn't showing any implication that Dame's best interest holds any weight in their franchise direction. When you also factor in their lack of interest in Miami's best young player available in Tyler Hero, and I don't see South Beach being Lillard's next destination. So between Toronto and Chicago, it'll come down to Masai Ujiri himself being convincing enough, or Masai's last major trade bait for Kawhi and DeMar DeRozan being convincing enough, but of course for Chicago. For the Raptors, they have a ton of young talent to offer up, and if they really put all hands on deck to go after Dame, could probably have a deal done within a few days. But given their hesitancy to pull the trigger in recent history, I wouldn't bet on their front office making that type of push. For the Bulls, Zach Levine has also been rumored to be involved in a trade for Dame, and on top of having both Levine and DeRozan to offer up, Chicago's front office has already shown a keen interest to mimic the services of an injured and not recovering Lonzo Ball over the last year with their signings of Javon Carter and a year ago at this time, Carly Jones. As much as I'm interested in seeing Dame compete for my Raptors, I'm predicting the Bulls make an offer too sweet for Portland to turn down with the star power they seem comfortable making available. This would give the Bulls their best player since prime Derrick Rose and Michael Jordan. How much Dame would have to work with on his new team in Chi-Town? That'd be another story. Where will Dame get moved to in your opinion? I want to know your take down below. DFlow signing off.